Shall we begin? Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Something is going on in the tank behind me, in particular with one fish that is right there. This big guy right there. The compressor seps, the eye biter. Something is going on with that fish and also with a couple of the fish in this tank behind me here, in particular the uh, star sapphire and the Z-Rock. There's something going on with both of those fish and so uh, it's got me a little bit concerned. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it has odd characteristics and uh, I I'm gonna go over with you and maybe you have some ideas that can help me out. So let's take a look and uh, be sure to share your comments, your thoughts below. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button and the bell so you receive notifications, all right? Thank you so much, let's get going. In the 100 gallon, I have what is commonly referred to as a star sapphire, a type of Placidochromis. Those marks on his body are normal. They're called uh, flex, and as he gets older, he gets more of them until his uh, body has them pretty much all over. The white you see in the eyes of all the fish is because I'm using a flash. Doesn't mean that they, uh, they become possessed or something. <laughs> At any rate, this fish, which I've had for several years now, has always uh, had a bit of a concave stomach. And um, in, in looking through blogs and um, other areas where fish information is available, I was surprised to hear how many people have fish, which like this Xerox here, have always had a bit of a concave, not, not completely uh, sunken in some of the extreme examples you can find on the internet, but certainly not rounded or um, as, as smooth and uh, full looking as other fish would, would appear. Now, does that mean that these fish are sick? I mean, are they ill? Is there a bacteria? Is there some type of a parasite in their gut? And if so, how can they go on for years and yet no other fish in the tank seem to demonstrate any of the same signs or symptoms just those two fish. So apart from the couple rounds of API general cure that I've given them over the years, do I move on to a perhaps a Metroplex and focus and uh, perhaps add a little nourish in there and some other types of treatments to see if uh, that is going on, if that'll fix it? Uh, do I simply let it run its course as long as the fish seems active, healthy, and is going after his food? I mean, what do you think? I mean, granted, these fish are under stress to some degree. This Maduka white lips here, also a Placidochromis, is pretty much the uh, boss of this tank. And if he asserts himself with any one fish, it is with the, with the Star Sapphire. Take a look at the other fish in this tank. You can see they're all, uh, you know, their bellies all look normal. They all look uh, plump and healthy and no real signs of a concave belly, not like the uh, Star Sapphire has. In a later uh, filming of the Star Sapphire, I did notice that his anal fin was chewed up a bit. And, uh, you know, that, that tells me that you know, he is being nipped. Somebody's going after him. I suspect it is the white lips. And so uh, perhaps uh, living under a certain degree of stress aggravates the situation and uh, results in parasites that might be resident in maybe all the fish, but not really having an impact except in those that that are under some kind of stress that pulls that problem to the surface. But he continues to live and continues to, uh, despite the, uh, the sunken belly, continues to be active and aggressively go after food. And, uh, you know, both of them, the Xerox, this Xerox, interestingly enough, actually survived years ago a, uh, a Colomeris outbreak in all my tanks. And despite the ongoing concave belly, he was one of the fish that actually weathered that and survived it. So on the one hand, we, we can say he's maybe not as robust as he should be. On another hand, you could make a case for uh, he is a particularly strong fish. 
who has actually survived circumstances that other fish have not been able to. So he's really sending me a bit of a mixed message. I mean, is he uh, weak and fragile and diseased? Or is he actually, in fact, uh, uh, pretty strong and in some ways? So it's a bit confusing. Here in the 150, we have a uh, similar situation with the eye biter. Ever since I had him, he's had a bit of a bit of a concave belly, uh, not drastic. You can see it here, and you know, with his uh, with his pectoral fins tucked in, it, it, it almost disappears. But and again, it might be just because of the uh, of the the way that the the vertical way that the anal fin shoots down from the body in this particular species that it can actually accentuate or make that look worse than it is. But he's not rounded and full like you would see in some of the other fish. But by the same token, again, he's very active and uh, a bit on the aggressive side and, uh, and is a, a, a very, very good eater. Granted, he is subdominant and, uh, re you know, uh, very, very uh, upset about it, no doubt, but he is sub subdominant to that Venusis. He did take over for a few days. You, see, you can see that in a prior video. But the Venusis took control uh, right back within a week and, uh, and gave him a pretty good beating. So he doesn't like uh, being subdominant, but uh, I'm not sure if that's really what's aggravating that, that, uh, that belly. You can see the other fish, they all, they all seem to have a, a normal abdomen, belly area. They don't seem to be uh, uh, you know, looking like they may have something going on in their gut. It's only that one fish only the eye biter and so uh, you see here the uh, the trout the fire hap I mean they all look they all look rounded and uh, no concave at all so um, the question is is it something that I should be concerned about is it something I should be worried about uh, should I be hitting these tanks with uh, you know with Metro and and uh, you know with focus and you know putting together a regimen for parasites and, or perhaps bacteria? Or do I just have fish that, who just happen to look that way? That is their look, that is their genetic makeup, and uh, it's not necessarily, they're not necessarily in any real danger. And uh, so I don't know, I'd, I'd like to hear what you have to say about that. Certainly this, this fellow here, this Venusus that's pushing about 10 inches, does make life a little bit hard on that eye biter, but really um, the two of them have sort of found a middle ground. But like I said before, that that slight concave in that belly has always been there, even before he tried to uh, wrestle away the tank boss position from the Venusis. So I'm not sure if it's the stress of the Venusis that's making it any any. It's probably not, not making it any better, that's for sure, but I don't, I'm not convinced it's making it necessarily worse. So, at any rate, I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Uh, do, I, do, I go into a, uh, do I go into medication, start doing a regimen of medication? Uh, no other fish are showing signs of any issues, and the fish themselves are all acting uh, normal, eating, and being active, and not showing outward signs apart from their bellies, of what you would consider a diseased, sick, or weak fish. So, um, you know, I'm not seeing stringy poop. I'm not seeing uh, clamped fins or anything like that. So uh, it's a bit of a puzzle, and any input from you would be greatly appreciated. So there you have it. What are your thoughts? Do you think it might be a parasite? Do you think it's bacteria? Do you think I have fish that just might be formed that way, that uh, they just might be a little bit weak when it comes to their genetics. Uh, you know, that does happen. You get, just like you can get fish that are very good stock, you can also get fish that are average or poor stock and just sort of live their life a bit, uh, looking a bit beat up or a bit not quite as, uh, as good as that particular species can look. What are your thoughts? Share them below. Be sure to hit that bell and hit that like button if you like this video. Also, if you'd like to pick up a sweatshirt, this is a sweatshirt for the channel. You can see the channel, one of the emblems right here. And it says underneath it, we all learn from each other. 
uh, you can you can uh, just uh, go underneath the video where you see um, where you see new designs and you'll see the hoodie there as well as some t-shirts they come in different colors and if you use the code at checkout live stream all one word live stream you'll get a 10% break on the price and uh, that code will be good for about a few more weeks so it, you should be able to use it all right thank you for tuning in I appreciate it and I appreciate any input you can give me that's it for me thanks